The last time I caught up with Conan Moccasin, it was uh, when he was working with Liam Finn and Eliza Jane and Lawrence Arabia for the Having a Baby Tour. But he is back in New Zealand again and uh, here to promote his debut solo album. What's it called again? Please turn me into the snat. What is the snat? The snat's a hybrid, like half snake, half rat. I got some friends to draw what they thought the snat would be and there were some different ones, but mostly it's snake head, kind of ratty body with, yeah, and tail and stuff like that, but it was, um, it, there's this kid called Don DiCaprio who's obsessed with, he thinks he's Leo DiCaprio, he's like a four year old kid in, um, in England, and he believes that there's this snap. He's a friend of yours? Yeah, 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 hang out with him lots a few years ago, so, so that's where the snap came from. Where do your songs come from then? Just humming around all the time, yeah. Because your, your song titles, things like Egon Hosford and uh, Megumi the Milky Way above, uh, what else have we got in there? Uh, unicorn and Uniform. Mm. These are all quite mythical kind of sounding things. Would you say that? Yeah, this record is quite mythical. Um, it felt like that, so it sort of seemed to be the theme of it. Does a unicorn have to be white? Because they all, you always see them and they're white. Yeah, pink. Pink? Pink, white, yeah. pink unicorn? Yeah. What kind of like My Little Pony type styles? But with a horn? Well, gin I was thinking about um, making a video with it using a, um, a friend, a ginger head friend, and um, dressing him up, strapping him up as a <laughs> unicorn. A ginger unicorn? Yeah. That sounds awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Now, um, the last time I spoke to you uh, was down at Roundhead Studios, and I know that you were yep. sort of banging away at your uh, new album yep. then. Was uh, was all of the material recorded there? Yeah, we wrote and recorded um, a whole heap of stuff in, in a month. We gave ourselves a month, but mm. just got together. No, nothing was pre-organised or anything, so that was that was quite fun. But um, so yeah, we just we did a lot actually, and then just at the moment we're, now we're all sort of back. Trying to figure out, put it, in, make it turn into an album now. But um, but the, the the record that I did myself, which I was actually finishing off upstairs in mm. the in the house, I, um, just in the in the room that. Oh, what you're me. recording it upstairs? Yeah, I, I, I had a bedroom up there. I was staying with the Finns for a month while I was there, and I I was just finishing it off in a soundproof room, just with all my own equipment. But but I'd I'd be doing that from about three in the morning till about six, and then we'd have to get up and. Do the and audio interview, yeah, and then yeah. we always had to be back at the studio by 12 because you know it's not cheap and stuff like that. So I was I was so tired when I last saw you. So for your solo project, the temptation wasn't there to you know sort of creep downstairs and, and oh, work was. inside yeah, round but, Yeah, that's why I was a little bit worried about that because um, I still had quite a bit to do mm. in that that month, and I was I was I thought I'd find it really tricky switching in between the two, but it was all right in the end. Just because by the end of the night, I'd be wasted or something <laughs> and could just lie on the rug and just uh, so it's actually quite a relax I, I like it like that it's more relaxed um, but in the way that I was recording my record was um, track by track so it would flow rather than recording a whole lot and choosing the best tracks and um, putting them in an order I don't, I don't like doing that at all mm. so well I've never done a record this is my first record happy with the way that that process worked out yeah for you I think end? it worked really good actually I'm, I'm finally actually happy with something awesome yeah well, I mean, is that saying that you haven't been happy with your previous stuff? Oh, no way, yeah. No, I couldn't. Really? Not, no. No. No, I'm not, I don't like it at all. Wow. Yeah. It's not, it, it's not me. Because I, I, you know, I only just got back. I used to do music when I was really young, and I had write and stuff and that, and I only kind of got back into it. I was, I've said this a lot, but through high school, I had a bit of a freak out period of um, being really self conscious, so I stopped everything so I was just sort of getting back into it and right. rediscovering writing music and it's just like almost starting it's always worse when you but yeah when I was watching you up on stage um, for the having the baby having a baby tour like there was all of you out there there was so many of you um, you know sort of all putting uh, energy into each other's songs I wanted to ask you when you go and perform the material from your new album is it going to be a similar scenario same sort of people um, uh, probably, yeah, with, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure, depends who, it's going to be really tricky getting everyone together, because I've, I've got other projects as well, and yeah. I know they've all got lots of other projects, so it's, it's going to be really hard to tour, but I think we'll just set out a month or two 
at some stage, because I think that record comes out in April. Wow. That whatever it's going to be called, yeah. Trilby, Barb, whatever, Barb, I don't know. that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And your album is coming out on uh, February the 22nd, which uh -huh. is a very special day. Yeah, that's a very special day. It's my mum's birthday. Oh. Yeah. That's for her, eh? Yeah. What you're putting out. I hope she sees this. That's her birthday present. Yeah. Or one of many. That's, yeah, that's, that's your birthday present, mum, for the next three years. And I hear also that you're probably going to be doing a bit of a tour around the country March-ish? Yeah, you probably know better than I do actually. Yeah, I, I think I'd, I'd pop away for a bit. Pop away. And then, um, yeah, I think March. Yeah, I'll be back in New Zealand and yeah. then do, yeah. Yeah. And I think I'm hoping, hoping, I don't know, I haven't talked, but I'm hoping to do um, shows in, in halls around the country and and like a Cheap way of having a theatre, really, and so like everyone can sit balls. right around. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, and just have it all seated on the floor, cushions and what. Oh, sounds pretty happy, but no, it sounds good. Yeah, just make sure you don't wear a short skirt. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> make sure because I'm quite pervy. It's been a pleasure talking to you again. You too. Thanks for joining me on the show, and uh, we're going to check out one of the songs from the forthcoming album. Please turn me into the snatch. Um, this isn't actually the current single, though. No. No. All right, Connie Moccasin with Egon Hosford.